Hey, how are you all? Welcome back to Jenna Makes a Video, episode four. Everyone's been asking me when I'm going to post a new video, and it's like, I have a life too, and unless y'all want to pay my bills, I got to work. And I'm in school because I'm kind of smart. Anyways, so <coughs> my roommates are officially gone. The last one left today. And I'm sad. I will miss them. But I'm also excited to be as loud as I possibly want. To scream, be naked, roll around on the ground, do laundry at all hours of the night, be manic in the middle of the night. Not like I wasn't doing all this stuff before, but still, it's nice to be free in some aspects. Dakota moves in like in a week, and so I'm gonna enjoy this time alone. Probably going to I don't know what I would do differently. I already poop with the door open and shower with the door open and scream and cry. So I'm not quite sure, but I'm gonna take this time to really <laughs> self care, reflect, clean my house. Sorry. Um, but I already clean my house a lot. Um, I'm kind of clean freak. I was being so loud. Anyways, y'all. So, I'm fresh and clean. Took a shower. My hair's getting long. Hello. My boobs look big. They're not. Um, I'm actually wearing a baby it's cold outside long sleeve shirt. I got it from Walmart during the winter months. Um, I put it on because I didn't want you all to see that actually underneath it is my moo moo. Um, you are not ready to be exposed to that. So I put this on. It is in fact not cold outside. It is actually, if you have lived and breathed and live in Louisville, you know that it is actually Satan's asshole out there. And um, yeah, it's been quite horrible. So sometimes, you know, ever since I was a little girl, I have laid awake at night and I've literally been like, Dear sweet baby Jesus, eight pounds, seven ounce, the universe, Dalai Lama, Michelle Obama, I don't know who. Love her. Um, could you please, when I wake up, make it 30 degrees outside? Approximately snow on the ground. I want to shiver. I want to be frozen. Tundra. Antarctica. I want to be one with a polar bear. I want to be a species of a penguin. Okay, I was not born for this. I was not made to live in the Sahara. Mom, I did not ask to be from Kentucky, Ohio Valley, where there's mosquitoes, and there's moths, and there's ants, and there's bugs, and there's cicadas, and there's creepy things, and there's prey mantis, and there's, you know, all kinds of weirdness out there. Don't even know. Don't want to know. Okay. Stink bugs. What are those? Okay. I didn't ask to be from here. In fact, if I could choose, it would be from the cold last frontier, Alaska, because that's where I belong. I want to be so cold at all times that life is just simple and happy. And I can wear as many clothes as I want and I can get as fat as I want. And no one will ever know except Dakota. Because they sees me naked. <laughs> Anyways, I was not made for this shit. Sorry, I didn't mean to cuss. It is horrible, okay? And <clears throat> it is not fair that we have to work in this condition, in these conditions, okay? Yeah, I work inside, it's fun. But still, it's hot. It's hot. I'm a server. Do you understand? That a typical night at a Texas roadhouse is doing laps around the restaurant. I mean, sometimes I feel like I don't even look up for all of three hours. One minute it's 5 p.m., the next minute it's 9.45, and I'm praying to God not another guest comes in and gets set. I don't even know where the time has gone. All I know is that I have become a robot, and somehow I've managed to make over 100 bucks. How? I don't know how.
how we do it. We just do. And so in the meantime, they were running around getting your ranch, getting your bread, getting more rolls, getting your Reggie butter. I'm working up a sweat. And on top of that, when I get two seconds of air time, I want to go outside and I want to hit my vape. Yes, I vape. Okay, it's better than a cigarette. And then I go outside to hit my vape and I can't breathe there. So basically, the summer months for you as a server, me as a server, is just running around not able to breathe. And I can't take it. What's the point of wearing makeup? Ain't wore that in a thousand years because it's too much. I will look like a mime. I can't do it. It's too hot. But you still come to the restaurant. And you still want to be served because you don't want to cook in your kitchen making it hot. But you ain't got no problem coming in there and making me run my ass off for you. And I do it gracefully with a smile on my face because that's what I'm supposed to do. That's my job as a server. And then you tip me your $5, your $4. Telling you to keep the change on a check of $49.50 and hand me $50 and say keep the change. And we do it gracefully because that's what we're supposed to do. And occasionally I want to bloop and follow you out to your car and yell and scream at you and say, what if this was your child? But I can't because for all you know, I'm just a server. I chose this life. You know what I didn't choose? In fact, I didn't choose life. My mother chose it for me. Thanks, Ma. That's fine. Love you anyways. Guess I got to deal with it. But I didn't choose to be treated not like a human being when I'm working. You know, sometimes you got to work in life. And although we make two thirteen an hour, did you know that? Ah, they didn't know that. Yeah, you probably didn't know that. You probably think I make like 35 an hour. Yeah, the cost of minimum wage is going to go up. Yeah, no. Okay. So you probably didn't realize that we make two thirteen an hour. And while I'm over there busting my white, no ass having ass for you, the least you could do was be nice to me. That's it. When I appeared to your table with sweat on my upper lip, out of breath, and still able to recite our legendary story time, you should be grateful. The very least, be grateful that this meal was prepared for you in a nice, cool, air-conditioned, yeah, I see you over there, you old lady shivering because it's so cold, begging for the air to be turned down. Meanwhile, I'm dying. It happens. So, if you could just be a little nice, treat us like we're human beings, that would be really cool. You don't even have to tip me 20%. Just be nice. But if you're going to be mean and you're going to not tip me, like just, I wish sometimes guests would just choose one or the other. Either be mean and leave me a tip or be nice and don't tip me. Like tonight, I had two women. They were super cool. Super cool. They didn't tip me. I didn't even care because they were cool. I was like, you know what, Brain? We're gonna take this one. It's fine. We're gonna chalk it up to whatever's going on in their world. They couldn't afford to throw me two bucks, but it's fine. We're gonna chalk it up to, we're gonna take this one. We're gonna still smile. We're gonna work that other table to death. Okay, because that's the way you gotta be. And it didn't even matter, because they were cool. And I was like, Heck yeah, you can have those extra bacon bits and I'll get screamed at by the kitchen manager. It's fine. <laughs> Whatever. Anyways, I'm just saying that the heat makes you want to kill people and I'm just trying to give out tips so that everyone doesn't kill each other. That's it. <sighs> it was a wonderful day, all in all. Um pretty much all I got. I'm really gonna miss the serving role in a couple of weeks. I'm still gonna be in the restaurant industry though, but <sighs> can't wait to hear all the excuses of why people can't work. Sure, it's gonna be great. <sighs> what even is a bad excuse for missing work? How does one even question why someone misses work? I mean, if you say my grandma died, you are an asshole if you ask for them to bring you proof. 
what? You gonna go rip your grandma's dead, decrepit finger off out of the casket and bring it in? That was too much. I'm sorry. I did not mean to trigger anyone. I'm sure there's other ways. And it's like, my dog is my life, my heart, and my ever-loving soul. I mean, hello, my everything. So, like, if he was sick, if something happened to him, I'm gone. Put me down in the ground with him. Baby girl, I'm gone. So, it's like, can you even get mad if it's over an animal? And then it's like, they're sick. So, you're sick, right? And you're like, bring in a, bring in a note. Well, anyone who knows the service industry, we ain't got health insurance. We don't qualify for shit because we make too much. Two thirteen an hour, <clears throat> but you know, whatever. So, how does it work? What does one do? I guess you really just gotta do what you can and the bad ones will weed themselves out. Anyways, I'm gone. This is like almost 12 minutes. I just really wanted to complain about the day. Which really, it wasn't a bad day. Because, like I said, even though sometimes people suck, at the end of the day, you get to go home and never see them again. So why not, for that 40 minutes that they're there, put a smile on your face, Treat them like they're royalty and give them that hot cooked meal they asked for because you're a sweaty goblin and they don't give a shit. Anyway, so why not do it? <sighs> Service industry life forever. Anyways, I'm out. I gotta go. I have a life. Didn't you know? <laughs> Bores. I'm really so ugly and like... Also, I gotta take this off. I am like for real sweat. Alright. Bye.